with this tanker we've supplied the Isobus ECU which does all your control we have the distribution box which is all your wire pinning to your uh, valve block for your hydraulic control and it also has the uh, flow meter and a variable actuator to control the flow rates of the tanker so with the ECU Isobus then it's all programmable to, to several, several configurations depending on the build spec of the tanker. You can add in automatic sequencing for um, your, your spread. So with this particular tanker it has, it turns on the gate valve, then a couple of seconds later it turns on the, the macerator divider and then it will drop your trailing shoe as it starts to spread and you drive off. All that's done through time through the controller that can be predetermined to the manufacturer's or the customer's requirements and can be altered as required. Um, also with the Isobus solution we have the flow meter on the tanker. So the flow meter is there which is recording the flow rate of the slurry. Um, so in your screen you can set your target rate with the flow meter. It'll, it'll see what flow it is and with the linear actuator it closes off the gate valve to get your required flow um, from what you're doing. So. So with the isobus tank, like you're not you're not limited to a certain speed. Like you know, if you vary it at speed, vary your speed with the tractor, then then the tanker will adjust it to suit. So so again, on the back of the tanker, this tanker has the linkage. It also has your divider um, for your trailing shoe. Again, that's all controlled through the isobus controller. Um, which can all be done on timing and with the divider as well we can also change the direction each time it's started or if it's if it senses a blockage it will automatically change direction to try and clear that blockage so as you can see um, on this tanker you know there's quite a lot of hydraulic functionality um, without the isobus control you would have a lot of pipes to plug into the back of the tractor but with the isobus control you know you, you then only have your two pipes if it's open center or three pipes if it's load sensing so, so again can, can be done on the spec of the tanker again the isobus solution like this tanker it also has, it is skateboard ready so basically skateboard ready is the ability to add an nir sensor so with your nir sensors it monitors the nutrients passing by it so it will look at the npk content in the slurry um, it then feeds all that back to the to the display and you can also set it so you can regulate your slurry distribution based on your content rather than the, the volume um, so that's all all added functionality with the ice solution and that gives you full traceability and helps make best use of the nutrients in the slurry